Mexican restaurant forced it to shut down for the night. Yeah, chaos also prompted customers to empty out without paying. 13 Action News reported Tony Gaptis live with a look at the video. What the owners have to say, Tony. Lee Diane, the owners of El Viejon and South Reynolds are apologizing to their customers for what happened. They also want this security video out there so the women who are fighting don't cause a disturbance anywhere else. Drinks, chairs, and fists all flying. Video from inside El Viejon Mexican restaurant shows two groups of women erupting into an all-out brawl on National Margarita Day. Sometimes people can't handle more than two margaritas. It started with an exchange of words that escalated and eventually spilled out into the lobby. We really apologize to all the customers we had on all the tables. You can see some people recording the fight on their phones, others heading for the doors. And the other things happened that the people, when they saw the the problem, they start running out without paying their bills. Juan Castro is a server at the restaurant in South Reynolds near Airport Highway in Toledo. Last Thursday, he said this fight left their establishment trashed. It's not fair. You know, we do our best to, to serve our community. Owners ended up closing down at 8.30 so they could clean up and file a report with police. Now they want everyone to see the women who caused this ruckus so those women don't return and don't show up at another establishment provoking anyone else. On Facebook, El Viejon issued an apology for the disturbance, asking loyal customers to come back. We've been receiving calls from other, uh, from customers and other businesses telling us that we're, they were uh, support us. They don't want this one incident to negatively reflect on the family atmosphere here as El Viejon prepares to celebrate its one-year anniversary this upcoming Sunday. The Mexican restaurant wants to be known for its food and service, not for a fight like this. Owners say no staff members were seriously hurt during that brawl. They also say Toledo police are working on identifying the women in this video so that they can face charges. Lee Diane.